West Virginia the only state to be formed as a direct result of the Civil War. Now, that's a statement that could raise a few eyebrows. So let's dive into the riveting tale of how this unusual birth came to be. It all began with the schism between Eastern and Western Virginia. The Eastern counties with their robust plantation economy were staunch supporters of slavery. The Western counties on the other hand, were largely populated by yeoman farmers and small landowners who were not dependent on the institution of slavery. This socioeconomic disparity sowed the seeds of discord between the East and the West. As the Civil War loomed on the horizon, the question of secession from the Union sharply divided the state. While the eastern counties voted in favor of secession, the western counties vehemently opposed it. The division was so deep that when Virginia officially seceded from the Union in April of 1861, the western counties declared their own independence from Virginia. In the midst of this chaos, the restored government of Virginia was established in Wheeling, with the express purpose of creating a new state that remained loyal to the Union. After much debate and political maneuvering the U.S. Congress approved the formation of the new state. On June 20, 1863, amidst the tumult of the Civil War, West Virginia was officially admitted to the Union. The birth of West Virginia was a unique event in American history, a state born out of the crucible of Civil War, a state that symbolized the struggle between freedom and slavery, unity, and secession. The story of West Virginia's birth is a testament to the resilience and determination of its people. It's a story of how, even in the face of immense adversity, they held on to their convictions and carved out a new path for themselves. Thus, amidst the chaos and bloodshed of the Civil War, West Virginia was born, a state whose very inception is a captivating tale of division, courage, and an unyielding desire for a better future. While battles raged, the lives of ordinary West Virginians were changed forever. This was a time of significant upheaval, of transformation, and of a new dawn. The Civil War was not just a conflict fought in battlefields, it was a war that seeped into the very fabric of daily life, altering the rhythm and routine of the ordinary citizen. Imagine if you will the daily life of a West Virginian during the Civil War. The constant uncertainty, the fear, the constant threat of violence. Every sunrise brought with it the potential of conflict, every sunset the possibility of an uneasy calm. The war did not simply affect the soldiers on the battlefield, it changed the lives of every man, woman and child. Food, a basic necessity became scarce. The war had disrupted farming and trade, leading to shortages. The people of West Virginia had to adapt, to survive. They learned to make do with less, and in this adversity, they discovered a resilience they never knew they possessed. But the war was not only about hardship, it was also about sacrifice and solidarity. Stories abound of individuals who gave up their own comfort for the greater good, who risked their lives to aid their fellow West Virginians. Take for instance the tale of a young woman who turned her home into a makeshift hospital, tending to the wounded soldiers from both sides of the conflict, or the story of a farmer who shared his meager harvest with his starving neighbors. These stories of sacrifice and resilience underscore the spirit of the West Virginians. The Civil War in many ways brought out the best and the worst in people. It tested their resolve, their courage, their compassion, it showed that in the face of adversity, ordinary people could do extraordinary things. So the war waged not just in the battlefield, but also in homes and communities across West Virginia. And while the battles and strategies of the Civil War are often the focus of historical discussions, it is essential to remember the civilian experience, for it is within these personal stories that we truly understand the impact of the Civil War on West Virginia. West Virginia the newborn state was not spared from the horrors of war. Even as the ink dried on its statehood papers, conflicts erupted within its borders, painting a vivid tableau of the Civil War. Key battles that played out on this fresh terrain would shape the course of the conflict and the state's identity. One such encounter was the Battle of Philippi, often referred to as the Philippi Races. This was the first organized land action of the Civil War, taking place on June 3, 1861. It was more a skirmish than a full-fledged battle, but it held immense strategic importance, effectively securing control of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad for the Union. The key figures at the helm of this battle were Colonel Benjamin Franklin Kelly of the Union and Colonel George A. Porterfield of the Confederates. The quick-thinking Kelly managed to outmaneuver Porterfield, resulting in a hasty retreat by the Confederate troops. Fast forward to November 6, 1863, 
and we find ourselves at the Battle of Droop Mountain. This was one of the largest engagements in West Virginia, pitting Brigadier General William W. Averill of the Union against Brigadier General John Eccles of the Confederacy. The battle was a crucial Union victory and effectively ended Confederate resistance in the state. Averill's strategic use of his cavalry and artillery overwhelmed Eccles' forces, sealing a Union stronghold in West Virginia. These battles and others on West Virginia's soil were more than just military engagements. They were the crucible in which the identity of the new state was forged. The commanders, their strategies and the soldiers who fought under them were instrumental in shaping the state's role in the Civil War and its subsequent history. But let's not forget the cost. These battles were not just strategic wins or losses, they were brutal, bloody encounters that claimed numerous lives. West Virginia's soil was soaked with the blood of both Confederate and Union soldiers. When the smoke cleared, West Virginia emerged from the Civil War forever changed. The aftermath of the Civil War saw West Virginia grappling with its newfound statehood and the monumental task of rebuilding. The war had taken its toll, leaving the state's economy in shambles and its people in a state of uncertainty. But as with the Phoenix, West Virginia rose from the ashes, determined to forge a new path. Economically, the war had been a double-edged sword. While it had devastated the state's agriculture and infrastructure, it had also laid the groundwork for West Virginia's future as a major player in the coal and steel industries. The war's demands for resources had led to the rapid development of these industries, and in the post-war years, they became the backbone of West Virginia's economy, attracting investment and labor from across the country. Socially, the war had caused deep divisions that took time to heal. The decision to break away from Virginia had not been unanimous, and the scars of that disagreement lingered long after the war. Despite this, the shared experience of war fostered a sense of unity and identity among West Virginians. They had fought together, survived together, and now, they would rebuild together. Politically, the war and subsequent statehood had reshaped West Virginia's landscape. Having sided with the Union, the state was afforded certain protections and advantages during Reconstruction. However, it also faced the challenge of establishing a new state government, creating laws and navigating the complex world of post-war politics. In the years that followed, West Virginia worked diligently to overcome these challenges. The state built new schools, roads and railroads. It nurtured its emerging industries and worked to mend the social divisions the war had caused. It was a time of transformation of struggle but also of hope. The Civil War left an indelible mark on West Virginia shaping it into the state we know today. The trials of war and the triumphs of peace have woven a rich tapestry of history that continues to influence West Virginia's character and spirit. Every state has its own unique Civil War story, just like West Virginia. Our nation's tapestry is woven with these individual narratives, each one a thread that contributes to the rich, vibrant whole. It's these stories that help us understand our shared past and how it continues to shape our present. You might be surprised by the events that took place in your own backyard. Perhaps your state was the site of a decisive battle, or maybe it played a crucial role in the war's logistics. Maybe it was a place of refuge or a hotbed of political intrigue. Each state's tale is as varied as the people who lived through these turbulent times. And it's not just the famous figures who made history. Ordinary people, soldiers, civilians and even children played their part. To see what happened in your state during the Civil War click on the playlist on your screen and thanks for watching.